จอมระหมจากซานโตสเฟลิเป้ Go is from Brazil Filippo go is มาจากซานโตสครับครับผมโอ้โหไม่ธรรมดานะครับ go is is ไปทางตะวันออกนะครับแต่ของผมสายตะวันออกเฉียงเหนืออ๋อนั่นอีสานมาตรงพุ่งมาจากอีสานนะตรงนี้วนขาบูนี้เลื่อนนักสู้จากอีสานนะฮะ Please put your hands together for k u n s u k m e n g y a m o Raja s i n g Rong Nen Kila k o r a j Beautiful aerial shot that is of the canvas, where all the action will be taking place this evening. Tie fight, 10-year anniversary, and we're here in Phuket to celebrate, Adam. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> It's always a good time here at Tie Fight. And there you can see our first combatant of the night, Felipe Goiz, 24 years old. Fighting out of Santos, Brazil. This fight taking place at 63 kgs. He's 170 centimeters tall with a fighting record of 41 fights, 30 wins, nine losses, and two draws. He's a two-time Brazilian champion. Now he's here to test his medal in Thailand. And there you can see Ratcha Singh r o n g k i l a Korat, 21 years old from Nakhon Ratchasima Province here in Thailand, 175 centimeters tall, 90 fights, 66 victories. 22 losses and two draws for the tie. A former S1, 61 kilogram champion. 
Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to a slice of paradise here in beautiful, balmy Phuket. I'm Adam Martin, joined as always by Aaron Suri Sampan. We have 10 bouts scheduled for you tonight, eight card check and two with traditional boxing gloves. For those of you that somehow haven't heard yet, Phuket is a lovely island located in southern Thailand on the Andaman Sea, probably the most well-known and most popular tourist destination in all of Thailand. Famous for its breathtaking beaches, spicy nightlife, and amalgamation of races, faces, and cultures, Phuket truly is a global hotspot. Visit the Vegetarian Festival and maybe you can meet someone special. Or head to the Prom Tep Cape, see one of the best sunset spots in the world. And in a minute here, Aaron's going to break down the bonuses, the special bonuses we have in store for you this evening. Yeah, well, the four main fighters, what we call the sea avatars, the four avatars of Muay Thai, namely Sunshine, Janet John, Sensor Khan, and PTT. Now, if you could not put those fighters out, which would be difficult, more than difficult, of course, you'll win an extra 100,000 baht on top of the, uh, of the prize money. That's about 3,000 US. How many stones or pebbles or whatever <laughs> is it in the UK? Not many at the moment. Hashtag <laughs> breaking it. Okay, here we go. Nice low kick there from Racha Singh. One of the newer fighters in the Thai fight stable. He's been impressive so far, undefeated. Yeah, two fights, two victories. Bobby Sugman, Racha Singh. It's always nice to see new blood enter to the Thai fight parade. I think we found someone, someone just, with a lot of talent here in Racha Singh. I was just about to say about blood. It almost looks like uh, there might be some marking under the left eye of Felipe already. Oh, beautiful technique there from Racha Singh. Right kick followed by a right hand. We have seen Philip Goins. Oh, good right hand there from the Brazilian. We have seen Goins on Thai fight before. He took on Pep's hand. But his left eye is already a bit compromised early in this first round. Doesn't oh, take much. Yeah. Doesn't take much with these tape and rope hands. There's another nice right hand by Felipe. That got the attention of Rafa Singh. Yeah, I haven't mentioned it there, the rope hands. Ten fights tonight, eight of those fights are card check, the rope hands. Thai fight loves the bear card check. Much more exciting fights. It's easier to get knockouts, easier to get cuts. I'm not sure how the fighters feel about it, but well, you have to pay. You have to pay more, I'm sure. But as a fan, it's great. It just adds another element, of course, because with boxing gloves you can block. It's good. Left body shot, got a right hand there. Nice short elbow as well. Both fighters really taking a few turn here early in round one. Good back and forth. Another right hand there from Raptor Singh. But I really, really enjoyed that combination from Goals. Going to the body and then going upstairs. Oh, beautiful high knee there from Raptor Singh once again. Felipe seems to be really comfortable once he gets in that close range. Man, I like that body shot, Adam. Don't linger. Going low, going high. Mix up the levels. I spoke about it before in Muay Thai, you don't often see body shots in, a, in an MMA as well, of course, with both fans. You don't often see a lot of fighters utilize those body shots with the hands. Yeah, well, I mean, it's kind of like kicking, the body's for kicking. Oh, oh another oh. nice combination. Rattleson taking some punishment in the Sultan round. Oh. Great first round here at Thai Fight Phuket. Setting the toe. Now we can see the highlights from that opening round here at Thai Fight Phuket. That's that combination I was really appreciating from uh, Philip Goes, the Brazilian. But a lot of uh, constructive shots though from Ratcha Singh altogether. That was a beautiful three strike combination. I think Ratcha Singh just edged the round there, Adam. But, it's, uh, that, it's that constant argument of punches versus some, kicks. Yeah, something to build on though for Philip Goiz. I'm sure in the corner they were very pleased with what they saw. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, like a lot of his good work really came from punches, and you're never really quite sure how well that's going to score. Yeah, good. With those both hands, knockouts could be even in him, right? So yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, if he knocks him out with the box, then you don't need to worry about the score. Exactly. And I think with those two hands, go for it. Really, yeah, really good and competitive first round from both of these fighters. In fact, I'd say this is probably, that was probably one of the most competitive rounds we've seen Rafa Singh in. For sure. Since he's been... Not one off. Yeah, since he's been here at Thai Fight. Jumping knee again. We've seen a couple of those from Rafa Singh connect. Causing problems for the Brazilian. Oh, I think that was a left elbow there, Adam. Connected from Rafa Singh. At that distance right there, I think... Oh. 
Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, I like to see uh, that range. It seems like uh, Rackerson really has the advantage. Once they get in close, they're, they seem like they're on pretty equal footing. I think I've seen Cody's goal back in a bunny shot. Third on the front man. I really thought that was hard to not see Cotton with the open ground. That protrude the armband is causing Rackerson some problems. Beautiful path kick there from Rakhison. Oh, connected Rakhison. Again. He's starting to really get the better of his exchanges here in round two. Yeah, slicing. Left elbow there from the Thai Nation. Oh, the right hand. Though he's on the back foot. I think Gois is in trouble here, Adam. All his movement now is back, is back tracking. Yeah, I mean, his approach hasn't changed that much since the first round. Unfortunately, Rakhison has ratcheted up the pressure. Really, he's taking control. Now you can see the blood streaming down the nose. Look at Rakhison. Right a lot of approval there from Rakhison. Blood streaming down the face there of the Brazilian as he tries to rip another left to the body. Yeah, he's wearing the damage through these first two rounds. That might be the only body shot we've seen. There's another nice combination from Goiz. Good luck, back kick from Rakhison. Good defense there from Goiz. First time we've seen Rakhison slow down with that knee. That was, uh... Oh, there's another nice right hand from Felipe. He's not out of it yet. Looking for that left double foot as well. Oh! <laughs> Spat him around. <laughs> Oh wow, keep the mouthpiece right out of his mouth and that is a great way to end another กลับมาตามต่อนะครับกระโดดเข่าลอยครับราชสิงห์ฟิลิเป้พยายามจะเล่นงานราชสิงห์ด้วยหมัดอ่าล่ะครับสนุกกันต่อนะครับนี่คือไทยไฟครบรอบ <coughs> โอ้โหมีรอยช้ําอยู่ที่ใต้ขาซ้ายครับทั้งสมูทครับแต่ครับตอนนี้ฟิลิเป้เนี่ยชัดจะจะจะระวังแผลเหมือนกันนะครับน
คือตอนแรกพยายามจะฟ้องกรรมการว่าโดนนิ้วจิ้มตาแหละครับแล้วก็โดนหมัดขวาที่เต็มๆเลยครับแล้วก็จากนั้นครับมาอีกชุดใหญ่ๆนะครับแม้ว่าจะบล็อกไม่ได้แต่ว่านี่ครับหมัดขวาเนี่ยครับคือคือต้องเห็นนะครับว่าตอนนี้เขาต่อยหมัดอ่ะเราจะไปบวกศอกกับเขาเขาบวกศอกเขหน้าเราเปิดเขาโดนหมัดเลยฮะเห็นไหมฮะลูกเนี้ยจะโอ้โหจะแลกศอกกับเขาไม่ได้ครับเนี่ยครับนี่ครับหมัดกับศอกมันแพ้กันครับเพราะนั้นวิธีการแก้ด้วยหมัดต้องเตะครับขายาวกว่าแขนถูกต้องแขนยาวกว่าศอกถูกต้องนี่ครับหมัดขวาเนี่ยครับนี่ฮะหลับจะศอกไม่ถึงหมัดขวานี่หลับไปครึ่งตัวแล้วหลับครึ่งตัวแล้วเรียบร้อยครับครับผมอ่าคุณเบ๊กคุณเดนนี่ครับเชิญครับเอาละครับเราจะประกาศแล้วนะฮะเดอะฟินิเอสเฟลิเปโกเอจากบราซิลนักร้องอายุชุดท้ายยอดที่3ครับเดี๋ยวเราจะพักคู่เดียวนะครับกลับมาพบกับไทยไฟภูเก็ตวอลคัมฟรอมรอตเตอร์ดัมเนเธอร์แลนด์สเวนเวนฮูคุณมาจากเนเธอร์แลนด์ใช่ไหมครับครับผมแต่ผลิตผลของผมเนี่ยอยู่ไม่ไกลเป็นคนบ้านเดียวกันด้วยซ้ำคนใต้เหมือนกันคนใต้ชนะอัดฉีดคราวนี้นะเชื่อว่าจากแบบกำปั้นไม้จำเป็นแบบเหมือนกำปั้นเหล็กกำปั้นทองเพิ่มพลังให้กับเขานะฮะเพราะตอนนี้เนี่ยเขามาจากกระบี่แต่หลายๆคนเรียกเขาว่าโอ้โหจังหวัดใกล้เคียงสมุยฉะนั้นเนี่ยนะฮะก็ถือว่าพริสกิฟพริสอิฟเกนแอปโรสชื่อหิมนะครับพริสเวลกัมจอมบูทะเลเดือดพยักสมุยลูกเจ้าพ่อโรงต้งเพราะ
Yeah, I'm, dis I'm bitterly disappointed. We're kind of heartbro yeah. heartbroken over here. <laughs> <laughs> Someone get that man a raisin. No. That's the same hairstyle I had in high school. <laughs> What's he doing? There you can see Sven Van Hoof, 29-year-old from Rotterdam, Netherlands, 181 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 69 kgs. His record, 51 fights, 36 wins, 14 losses, and one draw. He was a WKF European champion in 2017. This will be his first fight here at Thai Fight. And in the block corner, Payak Samui, Luk Jao Porong, Tom. 25 years old from Krabi in Thailand, 174 centimeters tall. This is his 100th fight. He's had 99 before, 76 victories, 19 losses, and four draws. For Payak Samui. He's had an incredible adventure with his career here at Thai Fight. We've just what a seen coaster. him. Yeah, we've right. seen him just go through tremendous ups and downs and dips and valleys and peaks and. It's kind of, he's slowly becoming one of my favorites because of that, because of just his perseverance and the tear that he's been on lately. And I got to say, he, he looks more comfortable than, than ever. And of we course. saw him at the hotel with his family, and it was yeah. just nice, and he looked really calm and composed. Oh, from Sven. Oh, solid right elbow there for Paxley. This might be over and around. Yeah. These Kofi's fighters are really going for it. Boom, boom, fight, they call this. They have a stock in toe-to-toe -to -toe and just throw it. And of course, you can see the rope hands. This is another card check fight. Even though Pax Louis does normally fight at this weight, 69 kg, he was the tie fight champion in 2018 at 72.5 kg, of course, the four-man tournament that he ever won. Yeah, he doesn't look relaxed, does he? Back down, goes back down on that foot shield. He's covering up as well, really trying to cover up. So, as you mentioned before in the previous fight, it's so hard to defend yourself with those rope hands. Just not a lot of space to block punches. This is slicing elbow. Way off the back, bro. Looking for that uppercut. Good look in there. One way to try and open up the guard of the opponent is, of course, to throw those rope kicks. Oh, good block, man. Will the pack's going to hit his right leg? He looks big, doesn't he, Abby? Yeah. Back, this back. won't be the first time we've seen a Thai fighter go up against a bigger opponent. Oh, good team. Sam Tai's made a career out of it. He's a team since he's been down there really well. Oh, Thai's been just going nowhere near the mark at the moment. Oh, 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 Okay. Quite an intense hooking round has to be said. I feel like we both just went for that one big shot. Good hands there from Van Hoof, mixing it up. Not just looking for the big hit maker. Right elbow from Pike to me. The red mark is on the face of Van Hoof, but I don't think he's cut yet. Good boxing combinations in that first round from Sven. Changing levels there. It's a nice right hand from Payak. Not Payak's best round, though, has to be said. Maybe having his family here has made him a bit nervous. The son's in his corner, which we haven't seen before. No, he was there last time. 
Really? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, honestly, Adam, I think there's a case that Van Hoof won that round. Yeah, I think I think Van Hoof won it as well. Oh. Right, here we go. Second round. Oh. Oh. Shot from Van Hoof. He's looking for the elbow instead, but honestly, when they get close, it can definitely drive that knee into the body. There's that right kick that he's so well known for. We actually haven't seen it much this fight. Oh, sorry, right into the body again. Oh, chasing back. And again, throwing that right elbow that's not connecting. Yeah, those punches are basically just measuring measuring sticks to try to tee up that elbow. Look at the right kick to the body there from Pike Smooth. And then a left. Good right hand. And again, on the right of the back. Crowd appreciating this action here in the second round. An absolute war here in Phuket. What a fight. Crowd appreciating it, as are we here at Phuket. So a much better second round for Payak, for sure. We'll probably see some of that action here in the highlights. Yeah, did a, a much better job of finding the range. Still struggled finding that elbow, but those knees were brutal. Yeah, he's Landed a couple he's, of beautiful he's... knees. Here's another one, crunching knee to the body. And I wish he would have thrown that more and you know, left the elbow. Yeah, he, seem, he seems to have an idea on how he wants to end this fight. But it's, <laughs> Clearly. But it's not really helping him at the moment. Although, I do think he won that second round. In my, in my eyes, this, this third round is the deciding one. It's one round apiece yep, for me. Yeah, I'm on that for sure. Great fight. Here we go, round three. The last fight here at Thai Fight, the opening bout of tonight. We saw Ratchet Singh lose by a knockout in the third round. Shocking. Let's see now what Pike Samu can do. Oh, indeed. Nice body shot there from Van Hoof. That's what Van Hoof could do. Thailand in the black corner. Netherlands yes. Holland in the white corner. That's really good. Finding his way to that left hand. Looking for that body kick. His hand is just low there when he's got caught. And a stiff left jab there. Good body kick from the Thai fighter. Oh, so right hand there from Van Hoof. But that's really good. That's really good. That knee just seems to be there, as you said. No reason to, to stop throwing it if you can't defend it. What you said, Adam, his game plan seems to be to stop this guy with that elbow. It doesn't seem to be a clue up from his head. He's, he's, he's been chasing it this whole fight and been miles away on, on different occasions. There's that knee again. Oh! 
Cheeky yeah. left elbow. Yeah, we keep saying that, but you know, I bet in a minute here he lands an elbow <laughs> and flattens Van Hooven. Makes us look silly. Bye bye, me. Oh, good right. Put that from Van Hooven. Right kick to the body. Right swing in backwards. Then, early stage of the course, that was rather did such really a nice bad right job. Oh, Jason! Really look at the camera, that's yeah. the risk! Cameraman had to hold on to dear life there. I think it's a real credit to uh, Anthony's composure. After that difficult first round, he's put back in the second. And, well, equally, I think he's impressed with Van Hoof. He, he looks so tense and nervous and sort of wired up in that first round. Yeah, he looks that, comfortable now. Chase that right elbow. Oh, he's losing the fight, but he's, he's, he's hung in it. He's been competitive. Well, I feel like that hurt has to be. If I'm moving in, it's just not moving. It's going to Is a really good. Four fighters have taken a load of punishment in this fight. Markings up and down both of their bodies. Yeah, the difficult for tomorrow for Van Hoof to go from a line position to a standing position. His body is an absolute pasty. End of the third and final round. Excellent competitive fight. I still think Hayek edged it, especially with those kicks to the body in the third round, but the judges are four. We'll find out here in a moment. Well, we did say, didn't we, Van Hoof in that opening round? He was on fire, pushing the pace and really trying to go after Pike's move. Pike's move and relax the whole three rounds. Yeah, but I mean, it almost cost him. I'm not sure if that was his plan, but sort of ease into this fight, but it certainly cost him a round. So let's go to the Victor score cards. For a decision here at Tide Fight Phuket. ครับขอเชิญพี่เบิร์ตครับแล้วก็ครับที่เรียนไปเนี่ยนี่คือคุณเมย์ของมวยไทยไฟท่าเชื่อนะครับเราจะเป็นการวันนี้ครับเป็น
ชนะน็อกได้รับไปเป็น1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0บาทนะครับฉะนั้น please give an applause for นักรบจากเมืองช้างชนะจน PK แสนชัยมวยไทยเย้มclose-up shot of the determination on the face of Philip Engeroff, the Titan, 26-year-old from Germany, 183 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 74 kgs. And there you can see his professional record: 37 fights, 27 wins, 10 losses, and of course one of those losses coming at the hands of Chana John, the man who's fighting tonight. That fight happens in Korat. It's a really great competitive fight, and obviously we're not the only ones who thought so because they're bringing it back. Now you can see Jana John, PK Sanchai, Muay Thai gym, 30 years old from Buriram in Thailand, 180 centimeters tall, 137 fights, 103 victories, 29 losses with five draws. Thai fight champion in 2017 at 72.5 kgs, a former champion of Raj Damnern, and the 24th Isuzu Cup champion. Chana John, PK Sanchai Muay Thai. Honestly, that fight he had against Angarov in Korat, in my memory, which is less than perfect, <laughs> feels like one of the most competitive fights Chana John's had. Yeah. In the last few years. No, it was one of those fights where I think he was impressed by Angarov and he had to adapt to his style. Mm. And he just moved around the ring and was trying to avoid a lot of the shots that Angarov threw, but he did a great job in the end with Chana John. Yeah, well, Chana John, I mean, we've said it a million times. He's such an intelligent fighter. Whatever you want to do, if you want to be super aggressive, if you want to take it easy, he can find holes in your game and exploit them. And of course, he's got that deadly right high kick. I thought you were going to talk about a six pack. <laughs> a deadly six pack. <laughs> it's more of a 12 pack, but yeah, sure. Push kick there from Engeroff. Engeroff, no slouch. Looking in great shape. Uh, there's no question about his strength. He showed that off, and his toughness as well. He showed both of those skills off the first time around. See Janet John there in the center of the ring, but he's giving respect to Engro. Trying to count what he's doing. Very Two focused. Men are very familiar with each other now. Engro out for revenge. Now, of course, if Engro is able to finish Janet John, knock him out. Knock him out. Finish him. Knock him out. Yep. He will win a hundred thousand baht bonus. Otherwise known as 72,000 British rubles. <laughs> Body kick from Jamachon. Right high kick from Engeroff. Backhand over the top there from Jamachon. Yeah, and acknowledged from Engeroff. Oh, nice uppercut there from Engeroff. Jamachon looking to go to the body. Engeroff went yeah. to the body as well. Looking very focused is the German. Interesting 
technique from Bengra. Didn't quite look like Sanchai, but appreciated nonetheless. Well, Tarakon finds the body that time with his right kick. Good use of the jab there from uh, Chana John. Every time he sees Endroff about to lean in, he throws that left hand to counter. And he's looking for the body. Chana John seems to be comfortable at this particular oh. moment, letting Endroff sort of lead the dance. Good left kick there from the side. And that is something that we see in most of Chana John's fights. That he he kind of sits back at the start of the fight and. He wants to see what the other guy's going to show, yes. and, and then he reacts to it. Whereas we saw Payak in the last, just throw everything. Yeah, Payak just wants to bend you to his will. He knows what he wants to do. He doesn't really change his game plan that much. I feel like China John's a much more cerebral Ooh. fighter, much more tactical. Oh. Kick to the body there, and has that hurt him? It has. He's not, not going to give him a count, though. Yeah, that I'm not hurt quite him. sure. What happened? Oh, beautiful oh. right hand there! Right kick! Well, he might have needed that count because he clearly hadn't recovered and down he goes, one of the struggling to get up. Well, we talked about one of our Man, favorite techniques in Muay Thai. That is silly. Oh, oh no, no, he no, is. No, 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 he's got to... Yeah, I don't think he's going to be up for long. Unfortunately for Engelrock, he just hasn't had time. Oh. oh! After the bell! Saved by the bell, or was it? Interesting round. Let's have a look at that right hand. Boom! He was hurt by the body previous to that. He blocked the kick, but then Janajon came in with that right hand over the top. And then, at the end of the round, there we can see that right hook that knocked down Engoro. Now, we mean Adam, we've been watching him during the, uh, in between the rounds, and he looks to be okay now. He was communicating quite well with his cornerman, so... Yeah, I think the opening moments of this round are going to tell the story of this fight. I mean, he really struggled even getting back to his corner in between rounds. But like I said, I mean, it looks like he's recovered. Seems all right now, but you know, you take one more punch to the chin and then we'll know. What we do know is that he's down on the scorecards. Yeah, he's really up against it. Because he was knocked down multiple times in that first round. I don't think they're going to count the third knockdown because it seemed to almost come after the bell. But he at least got knocked down twice. Kind of John's target. Hole. Yeah, target in the body. Oh, connected again perfectly. He's got to be careful about that. The last two times he caught that kick. He's going for it again. Oh, jumping right knee there. Engelhoff looks all right. Sometimes when John John moves backwards, he puts his hands down. And again, beautiful right body kick. Well, you'll have to use that when you debut for Tide Fight next year. <laughs> use that information. That's a frightening thought. <laughs> Left kick to the body. Inside kick from the German, Engelroth. You've got to wonder as well how Chanajan is feeling about this whole situation, because that fight really could have been over. Ooh. But he's so cool, so yeah, calm. Yeah, I don't think it really bothers and, him. And he's, he's taking his time, he finds the openings. Very relaxed. Well, the right kick to the body, and that's him. Oh, he's got blood coming out of the nose now. Wobbly on the feet. I'm just not sure how much punishment he can keep taking. Oh! Yeah, and if there was ever an appropriate time to drop an F-bomb, that was it. I, I totally understand. Oh! Coming right back for him, but Engelhoff going for... Another right hand, I think he was over I the think top. They're gonna, I think they're going to call this. Look, there's no questioning his toughness and heart, but I just don't think he's got his equilibrium. Yeah, I mean, he just can't... And there it is. Look, he's not going to quit. He's tough as nails. He was trying his best, but his legs just weren't there for him. To say, to, to think how competitive that first fight was, this was so impressive by Jana John. Very, yeah, pretty one-sided fight. He was so composed, so calm, so relaxed. Great with openings, took advantage, and indeed won the fight by a second-round KO. Congratulations to Jana John. He takes that Chai Muay Thai.
ป็นไม่ได้ที่อยู่ดีแต่ลงนี่เรามาดูนะนี่นะภาพช้าครับเข้าหน้าเองครับมันลอยแบบนี้นี่เองโอ้โหเรียกได้ว่าเขาเสียสตินะฮะยังไงฮะเขาขึ้นหน้าเขาเสียสตินะฮะดีนะด้านบิลลิปไม่หักนะฮะครับผมเอาละครับตอนนี้นะครับประกาศผลเลยนะครับเทนนิคเข้าน็อกเอาท์นะครับเดอะมินิเอสชนะจนปรบไทยเลยเจสันโพลิโดฟรอมฟรานซ์คราวนี้ทางฝั่งผมเนี่ยฟรานเหมือนกันฟรางชนโอ้โหอยู่ฝั่งชนนะฮะเขาเนี่ยบอกเลยว่าเขาคือแชมป์มวยรอบอีซูซูนะฮะแล้วก็เป็นแชมป์อีซูซูครับซูเปอร์ไฟด้วยที่สําคัญครับนี่คืออีกหนึ่งอวตารอีกหนึ่งอวตารไทยไฟมาอีกแล้วอะฮะถ้าคุณฝั่งฟรานซ์ของคุณเนี่ยนะครับชนะได้เขาจะได้รับ1นึ่งแสนถ้าชนะน็อกเหมือนกันแต่ยากหน่อยเพราะว่าคนนี้เนี่ยเขาเนี่ยน็อกส่วนมากก็ยกใน1ยกหนึ่งเขาก็น็อกแล้วเดี๋บอกนะคือคนที่คุณบอกว่าเชียงรายใช่เกมพลิกมาแล้วแต่คราวนี้เขาจะไม่ยอมให้เหมือนเดิมเพราะว่าศาสตร์ไม่มีซ้ำรอยเรามาเป็นกำลังใจให้เขานะครับพริสพุชจูแฮนจิเกเดอร์ฟรอมสลามร้ายแห่งเมืองชนเขาคือปอตอทอสสพัฒนาแก
for the man with the shock of blonde hair. That is Jason Polydor. And for all my French listeners, I apologize if that pronunciation is terrible. <laughs> the attacker. I know how to say that. 27 years old from Le Bourne, France. 180 centimeters tall. This fight at 69 kilograms. And his record, 32 fights, 22 wins, 10 losses, and zero draws. And he'll be taking on PTT, Saw Patanagas. 21 years old from Chambury, Thailand. 178 centimeters tall. 141 fights with 111 victories, 29 losses with one draw. The Zuzu Cup Super Fight, champion of 2016 at 67 kilograms. The Thai Fight champion of the very same year at the same weight. And the Thai Fight card check champion at 70 kilograms in 2017. PTT was on a tear all throughout his Thai Fight career. And then uh, not the last time out, but the previous one to that. He got knocked out. Now remember, folks, if you can knock out one of the four avatars, one of the four main fighters here at Thai Fight, PTT's which does one include of PTT, you will win 100,000 baht. And it is possible. We know it is possible. However, it is very, very possible for PTT to clock a right hand straight onto your chin and knock you down as well. It's very possible that we won't be seeing a third round very, and maybe even a second. It's very possible that that right hand could come within the very first minute of the very first round. PTT is notorious for finishing his fights early here in Thai fight. And with those uh, rope hands of his, they turn from hands into deadly weapons. PTT saw Patanagas. Yeah, I'd love to have like an ESPN stat guy with us to tell us like in all of the fights that PTT's had, how much ring time sure. he's really spent. We could just do some more research. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's something you can just Google. Okay. But um, yeah, I mean, probably in like 10 or 15 fights, he's probably got like 14 minutes of ring time. But Jason Polydor looks to be in tremendous shape. He looks to be the bigger of the two fighters. I mean, that's a, he's got huge a, a legs. common trend that seems to be happening with PTT lately. His last three fights or so, he seems to be fighting a, an opponent that looks markedly bigger. And he's well, had mixed results with that. I mean, for me, I've seen three fighters that look quite larger than him. And the first one, of course, he got knocked out. The second one, he got the victory. And now he's on to his third fight. So we'll see what happens here tonight. Or fight of the evening here at Thai Fight Phuket. Again, the rope hands, another card check fight. The majority of our fights tonight, of course, card check. Oh, and and don't blink. <laughs> PTT being very PTT about the way he's conducting himself in this very first round. If you've got nope. anything important to say, Aaron, say it now before you run out of time. Right up at the body kick from Polydor. And there's the first sort of knockdown. Not really. It's more of a push, wasn't it? Coming together. Beautiful technique there from PTT. Polydor fighting back. Oh, he connects at him. Oh, oh that uppercut. right uppercut that hand burned. Hey. Hey. Ah. Ah. Who's the character from Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Z uh, Goku, I right, think, is who you're thinking of. Watch out for the uppercut. Yeah, Jason's hair looks like his brain right now. It's a bit frazzled. PTT is trying to oh, oh, Tremendous right pressure. Knee. Beautiful right knee for PTT. Medic. And it's all over. Medic! We predicted it, Adam! PTT celebrating even before the tech down is over! Yeah, I mean, really what happened was the pressure from PTT coming in, of course, was tremendous, and Jason was trying to duck out of the way of those shots, and that was really the end for him. He ducked into the uppercut initially that hurt him, and then in the second onslaught from PTT, he ducked down again, PTT knew it was coming and connected with a beautiful knee to the head that ended this fight. Another tremendous knockout performance from that young man right there, PTT. 21 years old. And an absolute killer. Congratulations, PTT Sopatanaka.
ูมครับมาหน่อยนะฮะโอ้โหรุ่นเดียวทำใจมากนะครับเขากลับมาโฉมใหม่ทีเดียวนะบอลรอนะครับไม่ทำให้ผิดหวังต่อแล้วบุญทำให้แซวเขาเยอะเขาก็เลยกลับมาแข็งแกร่งมากขึ้นกับเราคุณเลนี่ดูนะฮะโอ้โหตายแรกตายแรกพูดภาษาจีนนะว่าจะลุกขึ้นมาสู้เอาซะหน่อยนี่ไงดูดีไงเชียงรายเชียงรายเขาอยู่เขาก็สวมวิญญาณเขาเป็นซับเลยจุ่มเลยให้มันรู้กันว่าใครคือทิงทิงออฟชนนี่ใครคือทิงผ่านมาสี่ยกนะครับคู่นี้เป็นการสุดท้ายแห่งมือชนจริงๆนะครับเอาละครับสำหรับตอนนี้เราประกาศผลการมาทำงานแล้วนะครับและผู้ชนะของเรานะครับ The Finish ฟอสต์โต้ from Thailand บอตทสุดยอดนะฮะครับผมเอาละครับบอตทนะสุดยอดอันนี้เห็นไหมเหมือนมี MC กันมาเลยทีเดียวต้องครับไทเกอร์นะฮะไทเกอร์ยินดีต้อนรับนะฮะทางภูเก็ตคุณสุขแห่งบราซิลพี่โบโรแลนด์ from เบลเยียมครับผมเชื่อว่าฝั่งนี้นะฮะเขาก็ตื่นเต้นเหมือนกันนะครับเพราะว่าเป็นครั้งแรกของเขาในการขึ้นสังเวียนพระใบตรงนี้นะฮะฉะนั้นเพื่อความที่เราจะมาวินวินไงครับเราก็ต้องบอกเลยนะฮะว่าเราก็ต้องคัดสรรมาแล้วสําหรับนักมวยทั่วประเทศนะใครก็แล้วแต่นะครับที่เป็นผู้ท้าชิงนะครับชาวต่างชาตินะครับที่มาเจอกันคือต้องไม่เคยขึ้นบนสังเวียนพระใบมาก่อนเอาแล้วนะครับตอนนี้ถึงเวลาแล้วนะครับเพราะว่าใครจะคิดครับเราไม่คิดหรอกว่าพระเอกนะช่องสามของเรานะฮะจะขึ้นมาเป็นนักมวยอาชีพครับผมแต่ด้วยความที่เขาบอกว่าเขาเชื่อในเวทีไทยไฟที่เป็นเวทีอันทรงเกียรติทรงคุณค่านะครับและแน่นอนผ่านมาถึง10ปีหนึ่งทศวรรษแล้วเขาบอกว่าจะรอช้าไม่ได้แล้วนะครับครับทำฝันของเขาให้เป็นจริงกันแล้ววันนี้ฝันเขาจะเป็นจริงหรือเปล่านะครับเราเป็นกําลังใจให้เขาดีกว่านะครับ please welcome เทพบุตรนักสู้ปีเตอร์เดนบัน
it's going to be hard to call this fight with all the estrogen in the air. <laughs> it's stifling. Yeah, an interesting bout we've got ahead of us here, folks. Interesting is definitely a word like one, you could use. One for the Instagram generation, right? Mm, love that generation. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> well, there you can see the combatant in the white corner, Thibault Roland. He is from Brussels in Belgium, 191 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 82 kilograms. 27 years old. He likes cornrows. He's got a record of zero fights, zero wins, zero losses, zero draws, zero everything. And now we can see Peter Denman. Now, Peter Denman is a soap star here in Thailand. But his passion in life is Muay Thai. We've seen him at MBK Fight Night supporting fighters. He has his own gym. But one of his passions being, being Muay Thai, Thai Fight offered him a chance, an opportunity to come and fight in the ring. And here he is right now. It's kind of crazy. No fights under his head. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, like, to have the the courage to, yeah, okay, I'll do my first fight on, on live TV in front of, like, a huge audience. Now, we talked to him earlier, and we asked him if he was nervous. He said, not yet. Uh, I have a feeling if I could ask him now, yeah, his answer maybe. would probably change. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a great test for him. And I actually met him uh, last month in Phuket. And he was talking to me and he was telling me that the, uh, the studio, obviously Channel 3, at first were like, absolutely not, no way, because he might have to do a scene. And then well, a few months later, he comes back and he's cut. Yeah, they want to protect that <laughs> yeah, pretty face. Right. I mean, girls are already crying everywhere just from this initial action. Well, I don't think uh, Roland's got the memo chasing Denman around the ring. Hopefully not a dead man. Looking for a left hand. Well, one fighter's going to come oh, out of this fight. Oh, beautiful low kicks there from Denman. Undefeated. Somebody's on this yeah, go, Yeah, someone's right? going to be undefeated. We're going to have a better record than one of these fighters by the end of the That's true. <laughs> oh, nice low kicks there. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned with where he's keeping his hands there. Yeah, hands to the body. Well, he's using the cameras, right? This is not acting. Keep your hands low oh, like that. I think you can watch the Jimmy Conor McGregor highlight videos. It's a nice right hand from Peter. And again, going up to the rocket and a windmill type punch there from Rowling. That's the kind of punch you see in a bar at 2 a.m. when a guy is not trying to go home, and that was something. I mean, he's spitting out blood, so it's real. But I, I, I gotta be uh, honest, I didn't quite see it. No, I'll have to see that again. But really, the best possible result for oh. for Peter Denman, yeah, I mean, he caught him in the nose. I just didn't see it. Well, I mean, I guess T-Ball didn't either. Well, there you have it. And his face is still intact. He Don't cry. He didn't get CM Punk. <laughs> Peter Denman, your winner and victor here in Thai fight, Phuket. Love at first fight. Alex Sousa!
เล็กซูซ่านะ from Brazil นะดูนะฮะดูก็รู้ว่าสายแสบสายซ่าแน่นอนนะครับก็ตามชื่อเลยฮะซูซ่านะครับซูซ่ามากครับครับวันนี้ฝั่งผมดีกว่าก็ต้องซูซ่าไม่แพ้กันนะครับแล้วก็เขาบอกว่าคราวนี้เป็นสายบูบ้างถ้าใครดูแล้วสายบูดูแล้วมันหูมวยมันมันใช่ไหมฮะฉะนั้นเนี่ยบอกเลยว่าใช้เสาะเป็นทีเด็ดนะฮะถ้าใครจําไซโยกได้คนนี้เป็นรุ่นใหม่ที่ใช้สอบเหมือนกันสอบทั้งคมแรงและเร็วใครๆก็จดจำนะฮะ Please put your hands together for คุณสอบทะลวงปั้นกิตติสอจอดแดนริโยI think I know what that means. <laughs> Go on, what's the sign language for that? <laughs> he's, he's got a sore throat, and tomorrow he's going to take a rest. I thought he was. I thought he just lost his necklace. Oh yeah, that's probably oh, what it is. Okay. He said, "This is where my beard used to be, but I trimmed that part off." Anyways, in all seriousness, that is Alex Sousa that you are looking at in the white corner, a 30-year-old fighter from Sao Paulo, Brazil. 180 centimeters tall, 69 kgs is the weight. 42 fights, 32 wins, 10 losses. Champion of Sao Paulo in 2017, also an MBK champion, a WMO champion. We've yep. seen him fight here at Thai Fight and at MBK. Yeah, he looks to be enjoying himself, and he'll be taking on that man right there. Can't really miss him right now, can you? The new color, new blonde hair, matches the 10-year anniversary Thai fight side. That's that was his goal, he said. Well, he's yeah. done a great job. Kitty saw Jordan Dan Ryong, 19 years old, just 19, 182 centimeters tall. 80 fights, 69 victories with 11 losses and zero draws. Yeah, and he's undefeated here at Thai Fight as well. I mean, he, he was actually brought in at the same time as Ratcha Singh, I believe, and Ratcha Singh had his first loss tonight, so now Kitty is the, the lone man standing with his undefeated record here at Thai Fight. They would like to go out with him later to drink, have a few beers, but he's not old enough. So he's got to be 20 here And in I'm too old. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, Maybe we, we can all just go out and drink juice together. Nice cup of milk. <laughs> now that sounds like something I could handle. It's been a fun night so far here at Thai Fight Phuket. Some great action, some great knockouts. Still have five fights, including this one, of course, left. Four of them will be Karchek, and the headliner, Sanchai, well, he'll be wearing gloves. Probably won't get touched in the face anyways, so... I'm always amazed at his ability to, to come out of fights looking fresh and clean. So, the 30-year-old Brazilian in the white and the 19-year-old Thai in the black. Yeah, like I think we're out of kitty jokes. <laughs> we, we've used them all up. If he gets the knockout, then you can say it, okay? Feel better? Round one. Well, oh, Rapping affair. Fireworks. Great after the opening bell. 
Susan looking for that short elbow. Oh. So Kinney's looking for it as well. Watching this, and he's very happy. Fast and furious. Oh, yeah. no? Okay, okay I, get it. I think I have to spell it out for <laughs> Well, I'm wondering if Alex Souza even knows that this fight started. It was about a 30 second fight. Just absolutely insane. That's, you should have forgot exactly. Two men entered a phone booth, one, one man exited. That hair has never shined so brightly. As did the skills. Oh. He'll drag a cel oh, celebratory right comb through it tonight. <laughs> is that what you said you bought for milk? Is that a cat joke that I just missed? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, the first round knockout. Never had a problem with that. <laughs> so lazy. So let's see if we can actually see what happened here. I mean, that, just, Susan was landing some elbows there. Right hand oh, over the top, elbow, short then. left elbow. Then a right. And then a right hand. It's still kind of tough to see which one, I think what strike it was that really put him down. Well, check out the left one. Overhand, right, left short there. left elbow. And then a right. right. Yeah. yeah, it must have been the elbow because that last right hand didn't. Oh. No, the left. Yeah, because the left before that last elbow connected cleanly. Just saying left and right and elbow a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> but anyway, there he is. Your winner, GT, Saw John, Dan Ryan. Victorious here! The finish! Get the from China! Antonio Magos Rocha! สิบสามกิโลกรัมนะฮะตัวเล็กๆแต่ดูพร้อมปะทะนะครับฉะนั้นผมเอาผู้ดาชิงมาพร้อมปะทะเขาเลยดีกว่านะครับครับผมคนของผมนะฮะตัวเล็กนะฮะแต่ใจใหญ่พร้อมไฟกับทุกคนเหมือนกันแน่นอนคนใต้ส่งเสียงเชียร์เขาดังๆเพราะเขาคือมหาการแดนใต้เพชรสมุยลูกเจ้าพ่อโรงต้มเ
Well, I think that's the most serious I've seen Antonio Marcus Rocha look today. He's been all smiles. Looks like me at the prom, just happy to be invited to the dance, you know? Okay, there we can see Antonio Marcos Rocker, nicknamed The Hardy. It says on the screen that he was uh, 24 years old, but I have it here that he's 37. I think he's 37. From Brazil, 168 centimeters tall. This fight will be taking place at 63 kilograms. 37 fights, 26 victories, 11 losses, no draws. And there you can see Pech Samui, Luk Jao Perong Tom. 28 years old from Ubon Ratchatani province. 163 centimeters tall, 111 fights, 80 victories, 29 losses with just two draws. Former champion of Rajanad, Rajadam Nurm Stadium and 140 pounds. Really enjoy Pech Samui. Every time he uh, comes to the Thai fight ring, because of his, his weight category as well, it's not always littered with the uh, knockouts the way we see the other fighters do. So you get to see some real barn burners and the way... Real wars. Yeah, for sure. This, the way that he approaches the fights, it's always entertaining. He had one of the fights, probably one of the best fights we've ever seen at Thai Fight when he took on uh, the snowman, Mateus Johnson. What was, like I said, probably the best fight we've seen at Thai Fight. Yeah, it was an incredible fight. And, and honestly, Matthias Johnson starting to sort of get a cult following here at Thai Fight. It's not that common for the foreigners to really get a lot of support and following from the fans here. And he seems to be quite popular, and, and deservedly so. He's had a couple of great fights. And obviously the one that you're referring to is the one with Petch Samui that was just an incredible back-and-forth brawl. Yeah, he gets into wars. He's not afraid to get hit. He's got really sharp boxing skills. Yeah, his boxing skills are on point, for sure. It's always great to see from a, uh, a but they're two-way fight fights, which is what's fun. I mean, a lot of times we do see these one-way fights of a, just a fighter, <coughs> Sanchai, just kind of <laughs> you know blowing his opponent out of the water, and and that's fun in its own way. But you know, I think most people that are fight fans really appreciate those two-way fights the most. For sure, for sure. He's going up against a guy today that's not going to forget his own name. Just wondering how old he is. That's a chest tattoo joke, but okay. I'm pretty sure he's 37. <laughs> I'm not buying these 24. No offense to Mr. Rocha, but he looks a little weathered. Yeah. Is that the right, right Experience. phrase. Experience. Experience. Nice. Seventh bout of the evening. Pet Samui. Look, Jao Perong Tom in the black corner. Yeah, it says here he was born in September of 1981. So unless he has a time machine, 37 sounds about right. <laughs> Round one. Thailand against Brazil. Once again here in Phuket. Antonio looks in tremendous shape. Winning that right hand. Really winking it. You can see how much punishment he can take. I mean, honestly, the age thing, it, it seems to be more about how much punishment you can take than anything. I mean, he's obviously in tremendous shape. I'm sure he feels confident coming into this fight, but. When you're 37, you just can't get hit as much as you used to. This look huge from next to Petsumui, right? Petsumui always seems to look small. He's a diminutive fighter for his weight class. Oh, Winkman, I'm there for the Brazilian. He also looks like he was shot at the same GMC as Vitor Belfort. <laughs> the side with one championship, right? Yeah. Oh, a little swinging right hand again there from the Brazilian. Fighting down on the front shield. His right hands are oh, that really was, wild. I was about to say before the fight. Here. It looked like a cut, and it's been reopened. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Seemed like he had a bit of a cut on the bridge of his nose. Had scabbed over, and it's already been reopened. That's where the blood is coming from. Oh, okay. I thought it was on the forehead. No, that's just a gash from life experience. Oh, oh. crisp left hand. Beautiful. Pet readjusting his mouth guard. That time for Pet Samui. Right past it there for the Brazilian rocker. Pet Samui seems to have gotten to a little bit of power. Nice leg kick from all fighters. They just pulled it up for every fighter. Just a bit too wide and too wild. Rocker looking for the elbow. Connects with the 
Ooh, low kick. I got kind of right hand is the kind that would, you know, if you got to a bar fight, send you flying into outer space, but not sure it's going to work on a clinical technique. The right hand there from Pressamui, knocks back and down goes his opponent. Rocky gets back, what game? Beautiful right hand there. Rob Petsonui. Petsonui looking supremely confident here in the first round. Petsonui decides not to move in for the kill. Oh, but he connects again with that right hand. Oh, he's wobbling. Yep, he's on good legs. He could be on point. He could be on point of time as well, Adam. Yeah, Petsonui is about to knock him into his 38th birthday. Saved by the bell. And the round one here. Entertaining round. At tie fight. So you can see a blitz from Antonio. Nothing really connecting. There's a beautiful check left hook. That counter landed a couple of times for Pech Samui. There's a short right, and there's a beautiful right hand that. Sent Roach is sprawling. Look at it right there, right, right on the kisser. Big fan right there. I think she's doing the Florida Shark clap. That's a, the Florida Gators. <laughs> that's, a, that's what the Florida Gators ah, fans do. Jackeray first. <laughs> well, yeah, they do the same thing for Jackeray as well. Similar, similar idea. Well, who doesn't love a crocodile? Is Jack? Is what is that about with Jackeray? Is his dad a crocodile or? I think this is nickname, right? Chakaray the Crocodile Souza. Really? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> round two. <laughs> Play around there for Pet Yeah, Ready? we'll see what kind of technical adjustments Antonio makes in round two. That wild swing and right wasn't really working for him in the first. Oh, oh, still going, going for it. Still going for it. Come out of for resistance. <laughs> oh, Outside I kick for Petsui. Oh, looking to go up high. That time for Petsui. Rocket trying to go to the body. Petsui keeps his hands up high. It's a great job of her. Staying away from those punches. Look at that. Imagine tucking that chin in. Keeping it out of arm's way. Yeah, what he seems to do is instead of... Good rip into the body there, though. From oh, Antonio. nice left kick there from Petsumu. He folds it up with the right elbow. He almost connects. Then yeah, what Petsumu does nicely, he doesn't cover his face with his hands. He brings his arms right up and connects with his forearms. Very high guard. When you do as much card check fighting as he does, those are probably the kind of techniques that you develop to defend yourself. Is my eyes going or is that a little blue? <laughs> Put that kick from Petsumui. Cameraman's going. <laughs> Laser focus from the TIE fighter. Looking for that left hook again. Body Time kick. that perfectly. Beautiful kicks to the body there from Petsumui. A little right hand. Rocker is tough. But he's starting to gas out at him. Mouth open wide. There's another problem with getting older. Just the cardio, being able to go as hard as you used to. And I see sets of stairs now that I just won't mess with. Launches into an uppercut there unsuccessfully. Right, yeah. <laughs> really contrasting styles in this fight. Another right hand there from Petsumu, but I'll tell you what, Rocky has got a chin on him. Just bounces off. And again. Punching right hand from Petsumu. And again. And Rocky wisely punches up. I feel like Petsumu can see in the eyes of Rocky that he's fading. Oh, he looked and he found it. Oh! oh Squeaky left hook left! He's tough as nails. I'm not sure he's going to get up from that one. 
His brain must have been rattled. That was a beautiful left hand. Petsamu is celebrating. Yeah, I mean, he's up, but his legs are, didn't follow him. Sometimes you get up, but your legs just stay on the floor. <laughs> Leave behind. Wow. And unfortunately for Rocket, that's going to be the end. Second round knockout from Petsamu. Another terrific performance from this young man. Great job, Petsamu. The Hunter Curtis Allen. โอ้โหดูหน่วยการซะก่อนโอ้โหโอ้เป็นผมเนี่ยถือว่าแค่หน้าตาเค้าก็ข่มคู่ต่อสู้แล้วนะครับครับผมเป็นผมผมก็กล
sounds like Curtis has got some support out there, which is nice. Far, far away from home. Yeah, and potentially in a world of danger with that man, Sensor Time, standing away from, oh, on the opposite side of the ring from him. I don't really blame him for having a silent prayer here. There he is, Curtis Allen, the hunter, but he's oh, not hunting. As the same time, the hunter. He's not hunting Wabbit tonight, <laughs> and I am making history with the first Elmer Fudd <laughs> reference ever in combat sports history. 28-year-old fighting from London, United Kingdom, 177 centimeters tall. This fight is at 71 kgs, and his record, 42 fights, 29 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. And then we can see the 25-year-old Santa Tan, Klong Song Blue Resort, 183 centimeters tall, 169 fights, 135 victories, 29 losses with five draws. A former Lumpini Stadium champion, all the way back when he was 63.5 kgs, champion of Thailand at the same weight. A WMC Muay Thai champion at 67 kilograms, Zuzu Cup Super Fight 2017 champion, that was at 70 kgs, and the Thai Fight champion of 2017, also at 70 kilograms. Sensor Tan, Klong Son Blue Resort, also fights out of the famed PK Sanchai Muay Thai gym, the same gym that Chana John, the same gym that uh, Sanchai and uh, PK. So, yeah, PK Sanchai, what says. They have got a, uh, what a gang, <laughs> what's the right word? Posse? An army? <laughs> Gotta be careful about fighters. what kind of words we use. Yeah. Tawan Chai, of course. You're familiar with Muay Thai, stadium champion. Yeah. In my opinion, will become fighter of the year this year. Who? Tawan Chai, his name is. Wow. Yes. Bold. Very, very good. Bold prediction. Muay Thai champion. Undefeated, I believe. Also from the PK, a Chai stable. Yeah, unfortunately for Sensitown, he had to pull out of his last fight due to a... Staff, staff infection ah, yeah. on his knee, so it's nice to see him back and and fully healthy. He's one of the most consistent performers in the Thai fight stable, really. Yeah, and he's he's so well rounded as well. I mean, yeah. He's good with his hands. Solid, solid all around fighter. Kicks, knees, elbows, all the facets needed in Muay Thai. Santa Tan possesses, and of course, what comes along with that as well is the knockout power. Hey, he's plucky. Yeah. I'm going to use Plucky and Elmer Fudd in the same night. I'm on fire. Or about to be fired. One or the other. Should be. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, no, you can, well, hear the, you can hear the shouts for Curtis coming from the crowd. So yeah. it's great that he's been able to bring some support with him. He's going to need it. He's going to be up against it tonight against a great fighter. There must be a few Brits in the audience. There's one sitting right next to me. Yep, half. <laughs> half Brit, half Thai. I'm split down the middle right now. Yeah, you're, you're mystic. <laughs> Not really sure what you are. <laughs> Round one. Curtis Allen from the United Kingdom in the white. Sensitarn from Thailand in the black. Again, you can see the rope tans. Another card check fight. The majority of the fights this evening have been card check. Sensitarn looking for that right hand. Connecting with the outside fly kick. I just know it's seen if it was raining. I think it's raining right now. I think they're crying. Nice left hand there from Curtis. Yeah, that was sneaky. Don't think Santa Tom was expecting it. A nice outside leg kick as well from Allen. Curtis. Yeah, you must be really crying now because I can feel it as well, Aaron. Yeah. Curtis uh, on the balls of his feet there. Looking there. Again, another outside leg kick. He's pretty confident, relaxed. Always a good sign. That's time really going to work on that lead leg, though. Really smart thing to do at the start of a fight. It will always pay dividends as the fight moves on. I can't remember if the stuff infection was on the left or right leg, but it seems that Curtis is barely going after the leg. I don't see any ill effects, Ill effects uh, remaining from that infection that he suffered. Alan moving forward and again, you can see where... Uh, take away that lead leg. Of but I was going to say, yeah, attacking that lead leg is always a good idea. So looking to go hard. Trim that beard. Look at that. 
Jackson sent it to the ring. Good block there from Curtis. Again, going low with the kicks. Well, you don't want to just let Sense try and attack that knee leg it. consistently, so you can bring that knee up. Yeah, very Anything that he can do to deter that strike. A very measured approach so far from the Brit. Throwing that side kick off from second to time. match here early in the first. Both fighters really working on the other fighter's lead leg. Good left hand from Sensatan. Just the warning shot there for Curtis Solid. Then Sensatan moves forward. Doesn't connect. Then outside kick from Curtis Solid. Oh, oh my goodness! Out of nowhere! And it looks like Absolutely nowhere. Curtis is reacting the same way that we were. Just complete shock and surprise. Walk hands out of just And it was a really good start as well for Curtis Allen, but yeah, he's just got his hands out like what what just yeah. happened? I'm not sure he knows where he is right now. That was turned into a really competitive fight. Yeah, I mean it was like I said, it was a really good start for Allen, but you you had the feeling that that sense of time was kind of measuring him and getting the range and my goodness when he walked on it was a homing missile right to the face that finished this fight and another really impressive performance for sense of who's not always finishing his opponent so really good for him just to to show that knockout power yeah, as we always see here at tie fight Representing Russia, White Lion, Mike Wietrila! My veteran from Russia. Oh, 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 
ภาพจดจำอยู่ไปชกมาทั่วโลกชนะน็อกเอามา13 14ครั้งติดต่อกันในยกหนึ่งมันแทบไม่มีทางเป็นไม่ได้นะครับเชื่อว่าแฟนๆเขาเยอะมากแล้วก็ทีมงานไทยไฟเองตัวผมเองก็รอว่าแมตช์นี้เขาจะกลับมาในรูปแบบไหนฉะนั้นพวกเราเป็นกำลังใจให้เขานะเขากลับมาทวงบอลลังราชนแห่งการน็อกเอาอีกแล้วนะครับขอเสียงปรบมือต้อนรับดังๆให้กับมังกรปากน้ำโพเต็งหนึ่งสิทธิ์โจมาสายรองชานาจอนในคอร์นเนอร์ของทังนิงนายฟาวของวันที่10ของบาวส์ที่ในไทยไฟท์ภูเก็ตนี่คุณเห็นไมค์วิทริลล่าที่ไวท์ไลออนที่จริงๆมันเสียงดังเป็นเพลง <laughs> Not sure if it exists. I might try to order one tonight and just see what the bartender says. I'll have a couple of white Russians tonight. 27-year-old fighting out of Russia. Wouldn't feel like a real card in Phuket without a Russian. <laughs> so nice to see him on the card this evening to represent a huge population, really, in Phuket. He's 188 centimeters tall, 80 kgs of the weight, 32 fights, 26 wins, 6 losses. And there we can see the returning Peng Neng Sit Jai Sarong, 26 years old, from uh, Nakhon Sawan, 180 centimeters tall, 89 fights, 71 victories, 14 losses with four draws. Former King's Cup champion, former Isuzu Cup super fight champion. Peng Neng has been away from the Thai fight ring for one year and nine months. He, uh, he had some uh, legal issues. Not sure exactly what it was. I need to go into, but that was very confusing. He was on a tear when he, uh, when we saw him firstly around what 2015, 2016, when he was fighting then at around 74 to 75 kilograms. This is a hefty 80 kgs now that he's fighting. Yeah, he hardly even looks like the same guy. He really has changed a lot physically. But I mean, we don't know. We just haven't seen him fight in so long. We just don't know what to expect. When he was in Thai fight last time, he had one of the most vicious left hands that we'd really seen. I mean, you loved this guy, Aaron. Yeah, you, I did. You, hardly a amazing. fight went by without your eyes <laughs> sparkling well, he when did. he would fight. And uh, and then, yeah, it was just really unfortunate. He just kind of, he had some sort of issue where he couldn't fight in Thailand. I think he might have had a fight in France or something I just to I, hold himself over. Well, and then, I, I think he had one fight on the, on the Kung Lu fight cards. And, yeah, it was China just very confusing, and, and everyone we talked to couldn't really give us a, a definitive answer on what was going on. 
but I mean, I guess it's cleared up. But yeah, and just the only thing that worries me, obviously the ring rust as well, but 80 kilograms, that's heavy. I'm looking at Mike Petrilla, and he looks like, he an, looks 80 like an 80 kg fighter. He looks like an 80 kg fighter. Yeah, he whereas, looks fit and strong, whereas, whereas Tang Nang, I mean, let's be fair, he looks soft. I mean, to be fair, also, though, even when he was fighting at 73, yeah, he, he never had, a, like, a six-pack. He just wasn't that kind of fighter. But, like, we, we thought he was kind of soft at mm. 74 or 73. Like, we thought even then he could probably drop weight, drop weight yep. a little bit. And then here we have him now, and he's six or seven kgs heavier. So, well, I, I mean, we don't know. It's, it's kind of like these conversations we have in MMA sometimes about when guys move weight classes. Is the power going to carry up that next weight class because Ooh. when he was at 73 he was crushing people with that left hand and he's gonna try that same left hand on on this guy Mike here and who knows I mean who knows if it's gonna still carry that same power that it had before well we're about to find out a lot of questions Mike Petrillo looking very relaxed hometown Mike round one yeah, follow Teng Neng on social media. He's been training out of uh, Fairtex in Patia. Very famous gym, of course. Has him got some fly and stamped Fairtex. He won last night on one championship. So it looks like he's in capable hands to prepare for this fight. But again, like I said, it's got to be difficult fighting 80 kgs when you're naturally not an 80 kg fighter. Swinging over, swinging left hand there from Teng Neng. Oh! Well, Oh, oh my goodness. Looks like the left hand is still there. Out on his feet. Down goes Mike. And I don't think he's going to get up. And you know what? You can't really tell the guy to do sit-ups when he can end a fight in less than 30 seconds with that dynamite he's got in his left hand. He's back! <laughs> going to go to that left hand. We just didn't know how it was going to work, and there's the answer. Oh, it worked oh, tremendously yeah. well. I still think he could cut a few KGs. I'm not going to take that statement back, but it is nice to see Tang Meng back. It's nice to see him employing that weapon that he was so famous for. Incredible! With all the questions we Mike, asked, Mike has no answered. idea what's going on. He's like, I'm fine, let's fight. Has the fight started? He's really confused. This happens sometimes, you know, you get knocked out and you don't even remember it. You just kind of blank out, so he probably doesn't even know. Let's have a look at that replay. Yeah. That's the left hand. Well, he was out on his feet. He's in trouble here. Eats oh. another one. He's in real trouble. Yeah. And then here he's basically just unconscious oh. on his feet. You have to the referee. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Oh, yeah. Check this out again. The referee moves in to try and save by you. But he gets caught with another good. Boom. Oh, my goodness. What a stud! Yeah, he's got a chin! Oh! oh 30,000 bot bonus for the ref! That might go viral! Wow, he didn't even get phased either! Look at him eat oh. that! Oh, man! <laughs> it's incredible! What a chin on that ref! Technic comes back and knocks out two people! Somebody <laughs> give him a belt! <laughs> wow! Oh, that left yeah, I mean, I, I hope that somebody shows Mike this video after so that Boom. he can see, like, so that he can see that, you know, it wasn't an unfair stoppage. It wasn't called early. <laughs> the referee is a champion. Oh, he's even oh. bleeding. Oh, maybe it's not laughable anymore. Somebody buy that guy a beer. From Thailand! Woo! Back with a bang! Tang Nate! Sit guys to run! Your victor here on Thai Fight UK!
representing Uzbekistan, Friday Boy Nasarov.และผู้ที่จะมาท้าดวลกับเขานะครับครับแน่นอนว่าเขาตัวเล็กๆเนี่ยนะครับคงจะถูกปรามาสไว้เยอะเหมือนกันเหมือนที่คนปรามาสนะครับปีเตอร์เหมือนกันครับแต่เขาก็สร้างความสามารถของเขานะฮะลุยไปทั่วโลกให้เรียกได้ว่าเขาคือตำนานในตำนานนะครับหลายๆคนเนี่ยก็มีเขานะฮะเป็น FC นะครับแล้วก็คอยติดตามเขามาตลอดแล้วก็อยากจะเห็นว่าฝีมือการชกของเขาจริงๆแล้วมันสุดยอดสนกับคำว่าโคตรมวยหรือเปล่าฉะนั้นเรามาเห็นด้วยตาตัวเองดีกว่ากับไทยไฟภูเก็ตวันนี้นะครับขอเสียงปรบมือนะฮะต้อนรับดังๆกับแชมป์นะฮะที่ครองถ้วยพระราชทาน3ปีซ้อนด้วยกันนะฮะกับโคตรมวยแห่งสยามแสนชัยพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยเยมใช่มาแล้วโอ้โหลนาดแสนชัยพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิมโคตรมวยแห่งสยามประเทศไทยพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิมพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิมเมื่อได้พบพบกับมวยไทยโอ้ยละว่าคนงามจังว่าละโอ้ยคนงามไอสิตามใจเจ้าไปนําสิได้บอสิได้บอสิไปถามจอจอคือบอและชีวาจังไหนไอมีใจหักมันความฝันไอซ้ำนี้แสนใช่นี้แต่ใจปลดระบายแน่เด้อดังเดือเ
<laughs> Even Ferdabs is laughing. Yeah, Ferdabs is laughing, <laughs> Sanchai is laughing, we're laughing. Only good times at TIE Fight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've come to it, boys and girls. The final bout of this evening's festival is here in Phuket, Thailand. And there you can see Fear Dav's boy Nazarov, 27-year-old fighter from Uzbekistan, 170 centimeters tall. This fight at 66 kilograms. Professional record, 47 fights, 29 wins, 16 losses, and two draws. Now, of course, Sanchai fought his older brother previously at Thai fight and defeated him pretty easily. I mean, he really frustrated Anvar in that fight. And so now it's his brother's turn. It's coming for vengeance. Yeah. Seems like there's like a, some sort of blood feud going on here. Who's next? The dad? <laughs> the mom. <laughs> and there he is, Sanchai, PK Sanchai Muay Thai Jim, 38 years old, originally from Maha Sarakam in Thailand, 163 centimeters tall, 357 fights, 306 victories. 49 losses with two draws. A four-weight stadium champion, Thai Fight Karchek 2016 champion, Thai Fight 2017 and 18 champion as well. Considered to be one of, if not the greatest Muay Thai fighter of all time. Sanchai, PK Sanchai, Muay Thai Jim headlining Thai Fight, not for the first time. The 10-year anniversary of Thai Fight, headlined by the greatest. Yeah, and really probably his most important accolade is Peter Denman is, uh, really likes him. <laughs> He's made it. <laughs> <laughs> Love to laugh at my own jokes. Somebody's got to do it. 38 years old on a 44-fight winning streak. 32 of those victories have come here at Thai Fight. Probably one of the most beloved fighters in all of Muay Thai. Yeah, he's just got it all. He really has. He's the kind of guy that if you're small and jealous, you probably hate him, but he's so charming that you just end up loving him still anyways. <laughs> he's charismatic. He's a showman. He's just an incredible tactician in the ring. He's got surprising power in his left hand. I'm not sure how it's still surprising because everybody knows about it. But the question that we always ask is... We wait for Father Time to catch exactly, up. Exactly, right. But Father Time clearly doesn't have Google Maps. He clearly is a woman driver. I can't say that anymore, no, can I? No, definitely not. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> but he's lost. I mean, he can't find Sanchai. Sanchai has eluded him for all these years. And, yeah, we keep waiting for him to slow down. Sanchai to show some signs of age, but he say, just... Sanchai must have cartwheel kicked him. That's what cartwheel happened. kicked Father <laughs> Time. <laughs> It's really just been an honor and a pleasure and a gift to to be here and to call his fights. Yeah, this to is witness a greatness. Of course, it's the 10-year anniversary of Thai Fight, but we've been working for them now for, since uh, 2015. And it, like you said, it's been a, an absolute privilege. To Every be able time. To call Sanchai, to be able to call the other fighters as well. I don't get the butterflies in my stomach like I did the first time I called his fight, but um. I still pretty much smile well, yeah, from still, ear to ear while honest, I'm calling his fights. I'm trying to keep it cool around the hotel when I see him, but really inside him, <laughs> hey, oh my God, it's hey, sunshine. Sanchai. It's sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, ultimately, there's a, there's a very strong possibility. You know, you never get a definitive answer for these kind of arguments, but there's a very strong possibility that he's the greatest Muay Thai fighter in the history of the world. So, you know, just to, to be able to witness something like that, yeah, it's pretty special. Be a small part of his history is really nice for us, right? So I'm just kind of looking down the card now. If I, this will be the 10th fight, of course. First, one, two, three, four, five, six knockouts. Oh, sorry, seven knockouts. Well, that's what you get when you go card check, card check, card check, card check. Of course, this fight with gloves. There's the Sanchai shuffle. Nice kick to the body. From Third half, no slouch, though. He's got kickboxing many times. Trains out of Tiger Muay Thai, like you said, with his brother Anvar. Good luck kick there from Yeah, really nice, really nice. Yeah, and he obviously comes from a fighting family. I'm sure his brother gives, has given many tips. Anvar, no slouch, of course. Anvar... Anvar's a very successful fighter. He just didn't have a good fight against Sanchai. Oh! Not that many do. From Sanchai. Well, you have to remember that Anvar, third out brother, knocked out Fabio Pinker. Pinker beat Sanchai, so... 
like matchups. Yeah, like I said. Honestly, I feel like Third Ave has already had a more successful fight against Sanchez. Oh, that's a move back. Than I'm a genius. Ember. If I remember correctly, Ember had a really hard time just getting his strikes off. Inside fight kick from Sanchai. Third up, the one moving forward with Sanchai on the counter. Question mark kick connects. We've seen him knock people out with that. Nice kick from the section yeah, from Sanchai. Almost connected to the hit. Another take down there by Sanchai. Nice trick. You can actually see Anbar in the corner right now just having a great old time. Good left hand there for the Sancho. Not many people know this, but Sancho has had a few five professional boxing fights. Win them all, of course. Of course. Really nice knees to the body there from Sancho. Honestly, the straight knee is not really a technique he uses that much. But... Good body kick there from third up. Sancho trying to hit the bindings. Left hand. Inside kick. Left hand, followed by left knee, followed by right elbow. Combinations. What a beautiful name. I wonder if that's something that he just... Maybe he saw it as an opening in Boy Nazarov's technique. He's really using it a lot here in the first round. Left high kick. Push kick to the midsection from Boy Nazarov. Oh! Quick in that back there from Sunshine. So again, he's good to the distance with that left hand. Yeah, using the right, this is a distraction as well. To open up. He's obviously seen so with that left hand, but he feels like he can connect with it. I'm sure he feels like he can connect with it. <laughs> There's that left hand kick again. Yeah, boy, boy now he's going it with his arms, but... Still has enough power to, to move him backwards. Right hand kick from the wheel step. Can't move up here, drops that And then he'll get a fake telling off from the ref. <laughs> yeah. And end of Cartwheel kick. It always feels like in his fights there's like a checklist of techniques that he's going to go through. That axe kick connected right to the head as well. Third off is tough. There's that knee that he really, like two or three knees that he landed. And there's a beautiful elbow as well in that first round. But, you know, a really good round as well for Boy Nazarov. I mean, he lost the round, but he was able to move forward at, at times. He was able to land a few kicks and... Honestly, there are some fighters that don't land a single strike, it seems like, in fights against Sanchai. So, well done for Boy Nazarov, and we'll see what happens here in round two. And the only decent weapon I've seen from Boy Nazarov, really, that could cause Sanchai problems is that right high kick. I thought the low kick that he, that he landed at the start of the fight was really well, really well placed. You know, in any, any other fighter, I agree with you, but I think Sanchai's legs are so weathered and so tough, yeah. I don't think it matters. That was the same kind of way oh. that Boy Nazarov landed to start the fight. By Nazarov. Kicked to the calf. to take out the body of Sunshine, the 38 year old. The left kick there from Sunshine. Drilling in that right knee. <laughs> Offering the hand to get him up. Sanchai has fantastic head movement. You know, in traditional Muay Thai, especially in the stage groups, it's supposed to be able to stand there and take the shots. You don't really see many fighters with tremendous head movement. I think that's where another facet that Sanchai has over every other Muay Thai fight in history. Good body kick! Yeah, his angles. His angles and his movement. There's the Sanchai kiss. Right there. Oh, that's him. Well, lucky you, boy, Nasra. <laughs> Great combinations there from Sancho. There's that low kick. Unlike a lot of the other fights here at Tide Fight, it doesn't really load up with one shot. It's all it about the combos. Yeah, right. It peppers you. And just when you come it up, it finds a way through. Sancho holding on. A right smile though from the legend. The Picasso of the Tide Fight canvas. 
Body kick there from Ferdas. That kick inside guys, bit of a low one from Boynazarov. To the Boynazarov, off that kick. Outside kick. Looking at the square, that was there. Let's go for that calf kick again. That's a good technique for him, but he missed that time. Good left hand there. Goal kick followed by a right high, just the next to the glove, not the chin. Sometimes. And that's that I'm going to start keeping a kiss count here. Hey, here this. <laughs> what are those white feels? Yeah, pretty much got what he wanted in that round, but I mean, Boy Nasrov's hanging tough. He had a harder time finding his strikes. And there's that beautiful dump from Sanchai. Yeah, it's a bit weird to say, but uh, Boy Nazarov's been kissed by Sanchai and he's been dumped by Sanchai all in one fight. Very nice, man. Very nice. <laughs> well, boys, really and playing with his emotions. Denman enjoyed it. Well, boys and girls, final round of the evening and of the fight, of course, here at Thai Fight Phuket. An amazing night, a spectacular extravaganza of Muay Thai. Yeah, really great atmosphere here as well. Sadly comes to an end. Sanchai having fun, the ref having fun, the boy Nazarov's having fun. <laughs> it's contagious, it really is. Again, great sportsmanship from uh, both fighters. Third and final round. A fight kick. Inside fight kick from uh, Ferdav. Just looking for that left hand. And a nice kick to the body as well. He's going out swinging. Oh. Left kick, left hand there from the goal. Tense to sweep. Left high kick, left hand again there from Sanchai. Solid left knee. A bit of marking on the left forehead of Boy Nazarov, but other than that, he's, he's weathered the storm pretty well. That's kiss number five, I believe. So now he's been kissed, dumped, and then kissed again. He must be real mixed up. Oh, spinning back elbow from Sanchai. You don't usually see that from Sanchai. And he gets dumped after an attempted axe kick. It's about time he got dumped, right? His turn. Again. Whirlwind romance. Good left knee, fake the left hand and then went straight through it, and again. Yeah, it's been a really good technique for him in this fight. Straight knee to the body. So good to for him. And again. It again. A really high scoring technique in Muay Thai as well. As well as going to cause a significant pain to your opponent. That's a nice low kick there from Boy Nazarov. Up to. Back to that left kick. Look at the knee, but again, he gets uh, goes down after a low kick from Boy Nazarov. Left knee again, and again. Yeah, I really do think those low kicks from Boy Nazarov have, I don't want to say they bothered Sanchai, but he's feeling them you know, he's for seen, sure. Rarely do we see Sanchai on the, uh, on the canvas. No. He might have a bit of a hitch in his step tomorrow, and that might be from Boy Nazarov. And, and you can really kick your hat today. Oh, that guy kicked it out that time. And a nice straight knee there from Sentai. Yeah, left hand to the body, falls it over the knee. That's so nice kick. So great. So great. And again. Oh. He 
Kicks to the face there. Up and left kick from Sensei. Good left hand left for Boyd Really gritty finish here. Closing stages of the spread and final round. Yeah, looks like it's going to go the distance. Sensei really attacked the body of the Uzbek. There it is. It's a great fight. Enjoyed it. Yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Really uh, strong showing from Boy Nazarov. I mean, it's not going to be enough to to get the win. But honestly, Aaron, I think that Ferdas competed at a, at a higher level versus Sanchai than his brother did. Did you catch any of that? I think he said poor performance. Well, boys and girls, we think those are the things. We're pretty confident Sanchai's going to get the nod. Absolute pleasure again. Thank you for joining us here at Thai Fight Phuket. I'm in Arizona, Sampan. Are you still? Still am. Still I'm Adam Hart. After three and a bit something years here at Thai Fight. Oh my goodness. It's getting crazy in there. I'm Adam Martin. Thank you for joining us here at Thai Fight Phuket, and we will see you next time. Next time in the Fuzzy Tumble. Wonderful. Good night. มวยไทยไทยของเรานะครับขอให้ท่านกลับทุกท่านนะครับไทยเอาเรื่องกันนะครับไทยท่านด้วยกันนะครับหลังจากจบรายการนี้เอาละครับผู้สุดท้ายประ